Welcome to episode three, Alex's Huge Chainsaw. I guess I'm too comfortable with the habit of lying to you guys. The last episode, at the very end, there was a little message that said, we're going into the basement. Well, I was under the assumption when I made that, that it was going to be pretty damn cold, and there was going to be a lot of snow up here, and we really weren't going to be able to work up here. Well, uh, the weather lied first. It's actually pretty damn nice out to be working, so that's what we're doing today. I was actually supposed to be at work right now. My my client had to cancel. So I came up here and I called Eric said, yo, I'm going up to the property. He was supposed to be coming at 12. And uh, it turns out that he took the keys with him. And he's not going to be here for another two hours. So I'm locked out of the work shed. I can't get to my power tools. Uh, I can't get to anything. All I can get to is our work lights. So basically what I'm doing is, because we're working inside of building two today, uh, I set up one of the lights in building two. I'm probably going to set up a second one. And um, while I'm waiting for him, I'm just going to kind of plan out our course of action because we are, this year we switched up some of the direction uh, in in our haunt and we're sending them through a different way through building two and out um, once they get through building two out into the front yard where the house facade is. Last year we sent them through the house and then they went into building two. So we're switching it up and that means we have to move things around and change up some, some pathways in the second building uh, to accommodate for that change. All three buildings need work done to them, especially building three. And you're going to be seeing a lot of that um, because that's really important. And we're going to be getting the buildings done as early as possible. Um, yeah. All right, guys. So first, I wanted to finally show you the house facade during the day. Something that has been long awaited. A lot of people just wanted to see the final detailing. Uh, we got this here just to keep out larger animals. Um, and for those of you who weren't around last year, it really is just a facade. <laughs> That was a lot of painting. It's all black. That's the house. And this is building two right here. So I'd really like to give a shout out to Froggy's Fog right now. Everybody knows who Froggy's Fog is. We bought a little scent spray bottle. And I went into all the buildings, just one spray bottle. And sprayed all the linens and, and clothes hanging and all that kind of stuff. Spider webs too, burlap, everything. Sprayed it all. This was in October. It's gonna be February either today or in the next couple days. The shit still smells like I just sprayed it. It reeks like boiler room in these buildings. It's awesome. And it's cheap. And it adds so much. People come out of the haunt, they're like, oh my god, it smells like shit in there. It's awesome. <laughs> we were talking for five minutes and Alex wasn't even recording. Fuck. Um, Loser. So Jim Beam is here. Hello. Um, took him a while. We're in building two. And uh, we're, we're working inside today because we can't dig posts in the ground. The ground's frozen. Yep. There's a little bit of snow, not much. It all melted. Yep. We already introduced you to the snow. We're sending them through a different way this year. We're sending them backwards through the building. Mm. We haven't done that. In they th know this. We haven't done that in three years. For three years, they've been going in one direction throughout the building, so now we're sending them backwards, so hopefully that'll fuck them up. Yep. Change the lighting up, change the scares, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. And, and uh, we could show you some electrical stuff probably, too. Yeah. Because I know Mary wanted to see some electrical stuff. Mm -hmm. But uh, electrical is very important, obviously, like I said in the last one, and I take pride in what we do. And uh, we have a lot of it going on. We have thousands upon thousands... Over 20,000 feet of wire here at Amity Road. And it's all relatively safe. Yeah, it's all safe. It's all safe. Knock on wood. Knock on wood. Yeah, well, you got to take the paint there. off and then knock yeah. again. Well, that's why I do 12-volt DC, because it is safe. And um, 
It's a lot easier to run. Anybody could do it. You can lick the freaking wires. You I did I mean? once. You did. You told me to do it. I told him to do it. I really trust people really like a lot. Fuck. You show them right. was open we got an active door here and uh, I took some of the shit that was leaning up against that boiler down there that water heater and I just shoved it in the corners here um, it looks like a really tiny pathway here but it's really not um, it's, it's a clear walkway so um, just wanted to you know have a claustrophobic junk filled room kind of area I'll give you the quick rundown. So from my main electrical panel, I run UF wire up above overhead. Uh, our inspectors originally wanted me to bury conduits in the ground, and I was like, you're out of your mind. I mean, there's so much ledge here and rock. and Plus, we switch around stuff pretty much every year, or if we switch around in three years, you know, I can't be having stuff underground. So basically, everything's ran overhead. We come down. As you can see, this is a little uh, cabinet, sort of say, that we made inside. Now this is like a typical spot where I'll keep um, stereo receivers, amplifiers, whatever. So we come down, I come down to an outlet, everything is GFI protected. GFCI protected, I'm sorry. So GFCI outlet, and then this is just an example. We use a lot of surge protectors, like see, I got the peekaboo here. So this is an example. These are uh, 5 amp, 12 volt DC, sorry, power supplies. So those are right there. Those are plugged into a surge protector. Now, there's constantly power to these buildings every night. What I do is I put surge protectors on. I don't load them too much. You really can't do that. But for simple stuff like these little um, power supplies and like a peekaboo or something like that, every night I'll just come in, I'll turn on the switch, and it's up and ready to go. And then the sensors warm up. Now, this looks like a, a cluster fuck of wires, but it's really not. Everything's safe. Everything's watertight. We're inside of a building right now. And like I said, I'll keep my, uh, like I'll have a receiver here. These go out to my speakers. I obviously took the receivers home. I always take them home every year. And that's for thunder and lightning. Then I put other receivers there and uh, LED lighting. And 100% of the time, a fire extinguisher. In yes, yes. I always have just the little tundra, the little quick ones. But we also have the emergency stop right here. So when the actor hits this, if there's a problem, it cuts out all the sound, all the show lighting, and then turns on the emergency lights and, uh, you know, the activation of, you know, get out of here, you which know, in all there's the an emergency, which are in all the buildings. So if you hit, if you hit this one in all three buildings... Everything shuts down. Everything shuts yep. down. Yep, all the show lighting and then the emergency lights kick on, the annunciation, you know, fire, exit, you know. And this is over two acres of... Yeah. yeah. Uh, so that's... Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I mean, this is just about, it's like 950 square feet, this building. So they're all under 1,000 square feet, so we don't need the sprinklers and whatnot. But we have everything else, all the fire systems, and everything's flame retardant. We have all the certificates. you got to go through all the steps, you know. Just came to our attention that there's another part we need to take down, this thing. Um, we're actually, I don't know how we're going to take it down, but we're reusing this whole structure here because all the beams are specially cut for this we're reusing this and we're going to be putting it in a different part of the haunt so we're going to try to the best we can keep it in one piece that's not possible the same thing i mean technically you're like that i don't huh say hi youtube hi youtube
All right, guys. So a little recap: we took the heat, uh, hot water out. The took the hot water heater out, whatever water heater, and uh, we put in this wall. But wait a minute: is this a wall or a door? It's a goddamn door. And then if you go through here, is this? So you come in through here. Go through the house, or the building, come through the other side, come down this way, and you go out here. We screwed this shut. We did. We screwed this shut because there's no door here and we don't want animals coming in and out. I cut myself. Um, so, pretty much, we, uh, we pretty much finished up today's work in building two. So um, we're going to be moving down to building three now. Um, you saw we kind of went outside for a minute. Uh, that's just because it's right outside building two, and uh, we meant to do it a while ago. So we just got it done, got it down, and we're going to be reusing that whole structure So as a roof. So, yeah, let's go to building three. So some electrical shit in the building, like I said, this is our uh, emergency stop button right here. Uh, then we run the wires up uh, on top of the walls. What I like to do is use Romex staples, staple it in, and then zip tie the wire to the staple. 
So not every year when you're switching shit around, you got to fucking yank the staples out. You just cut the zip tie. Good to go. Uh, let me show you a cabinet outside. Come with me. So this right here, I don't have the key to it right now. This is on the outside of the building, as you can see. So see all my some of my wires from speakers? I forgot to cut my zip ties. Uh, they come right in to the box. Down, loop up so the water doesn't uh, get in there. And then I got some shelves in here, so this is where I'd keep like audio uh, amplifiers, receivers, home theater receivers for uh, sound. And we have some... So you can access them during the show. Yes, I can access them during the show without interrupting the scene. That's the building. This is the outside. Pitch the roof. You know, this is all plywood just painted. And it works out great. Lock it up. And uh, make sure to take your electronics home during the winter time. You don't want them getting cold and all fucked up. And then come with me. I'll show you another thing. Fucking! One second. This is not for audio. So right here is one of my lighting controllers from Lightorama. You open it up. Uh, this one is 16 channel. So I got 16 channels. This is all low voltage. This board, this whole setup right here, was $110. But the only thing is you got to buy the software through Lightorama. I forget how much it was because I had it from years ago from my light show. But it's all low voltage. I mean, a lot of the show is powered up with like three... Power supplies, 5 amp power supplies. I got lights everywhere. You can put hundreds on them. Yeah, and then out of here I branch out and go to all different all different areas. You got to keep your connections, though, weather tight. That's like the most important thing. All right, Haunters. Thanks for watching uh, Season 2, Episode 3. And uh, we're going to be coming at you really hard this year. We're going to try our best to do what we can. Show you some things, hopefully some uh, tutorials. You know, you know the drill. Uh, please like, share, comment. It really helps us out, um, and it inspires us to make more videos. Right, tree fucker? Hell yeah, boy! We gonna party, yeah! Come on, subscribe, motherfuckers. Comment, motherfuckers. Like this goddamn video, motherfuckers. What's the page? Atticus Huge Chainsaw. Woo! Yeah. Atticus Huge Chainsaw, yeah! Honor for life! Where are my goddamn branches? Thank you.